The first content drop of MLB The Show 22, Diamond Dynasty, is here. So you already know we're making a video going over it, showing everything that's new today, showing what's coming up for Diamond Dynasty later this week here in just a couple days as well. So if we go ahead and take a look at the calendar, see what's new, and y'all could maybe do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're not already, comment down below your thoughts on the City Connect jerseys, which one's your favorite, and also your thoughts on the headliner, that would be great. But as we can see here, April 5th today, we have set two headliner featuring a legend closing pitcher. And then we also got Nike City Connect. Customize your squad, earn these seven released Nike City Connect uniforms. And on MLB The Show's Twitter, uh, they said earlier today that I think this was going to be a program. They said, get it today when the City Connect program drops. So that's what I'm looking for here in just a second. I think I want to start off at the uh at the headliner so we're gonna go to the buy packs and as y'all can see they got the set to choice pack but then they also have the normal headliners and they contain one silver or better you have increased chance to find that head headliners player in the uniform item and i'm gonna turn the cam off so y'all can see it but we got a 90 overall veteran billy wagner from 2005 four seam slider change and a curveball 107 for his hits per nine, 98 strikeouts per nine, 73 walks per nine, 75 home runs per nine, 124 pitch and clutch, 71 control, 86 velo, 88 break, 25 stamina. If y'all want to see his hitting attributes real quick, here they are. We got the velo up in the top right for each pitch right there, 97 on the fastball, 84 on the slider, 85 change, 78 curve. Control for each pitch. Fastball and slider looking solid. Changeup and curveball looking kind of scary for him. And then pitch break looking pretty solid. Kind of right in the middle for some of those. But then especially good on that slider, which should be a lot of fun to use. And then the other thing, in case people want to see him, are the quirks right here. He's got pressure cooker, stingy, untouchable, as well as cheesy. Now what scares me about this card is the stamina is at 25. And I don't know if y'all have been noticing this. Maybe it's not happening in reg seasons, but in three inning games, in Battle Royale and the events and any other three inning games I've been doing so far, it seems like pitcher stamina is really messed up. I'll throw like five or six pitchers with a relief pitcher and they'll be practically out of energy. They'll be in the red energy. And it just seems like the stamina is a little bit messed up right now. So that scares me a little bit, but that's your set two headliner. Definitely let me know your thoughts on them down in the comment section. As always, you can buy five of those. They're 7,500 stubs a piece. I'm probably not going to buy them. Uh, I'm kind of trying to save my stubs a little bit right now. Try to work the market, stuff like that. Then we got the 25,000. It choose one gold or better player with a highly increased chance to find the featured headliners player. And you're guaranteed to find the headliners uniform. This Mariners jersey as y'all can see right behind me. So if you purchase the 25,000 stub pack, you get that jersey guaranteed. You have a much higher chance to get the headliner, and then it's going to be a one in three chance for a diamond. As y'all can see up there, you're guaranteed a gold or better, and then you have a one in three chance to pull the diamond and an increased chance to pull the headliner from the pack. So that's the new headliner today. The other new content that we got was the City Connect jerseys. And I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a program. Oh, at, yo, literally we can see it right here. So in the comment section below, let me know your favorite of the City Connect jerseys, which ones you might be using or going for. Um, for some reason, I thought maybe there were seven or am I crazy? Oh yeah, okay, so we can see there's seven right there. Uh, it's a little bit small on the screen, but I would say my favorite is probably number one, the South Side, number two, the Marlins, so number one, White Sox, number two, Marlins, number three, I would say Diamondbacks for me personally, uh, but with that being said, the Marlins and the White Sox ones, it's a toss-up, man, I feel like both of those could easily be my number one end of the jersey, so this is the Nike City Connect program, and to complete the program fully, it's at 100 points, 96 for the final jersey, I'm gonna go through all the rewards here in just a second, uh, and if my mouth is bleeding, I'm sorry about that. It's just a little bit cut up, by the way. But we got Nike City Connect missions. So earn pair. Yo, that's actually super nice. Because you can literally earn this in any mode within Diamond Dynasty for these. So this is not repeatable. These are one-time things. But this will be super nice for me grinding Conquest, man. Uh, for 2,000 parallel XP, you get 5 points. 
into the program and it's the exact same for every team any mode within diamond dynasty you can get five right there so that's 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 points from doing the uh from doing the parallel xp so i'm just going to kind of try to mark that down a little bit 35 points for doing the parallel xp for doing moments if you guys want to pause on any of the moments feel free i'm probably just going to go ahead and count them so we got four uh 7 10 14 17 24 27 30 4 37 40 4 uh 47 i think 50 57 60 67 so it looks like 70 uh so it looks like 70 points just from moments which is kind of crazy uh and then exchanges if you want to exchange cubs players diamondbacks players dodgers you're gonna get two points for each these are a one-time thing uh so you could get another two four six eight ten twelve fourteen another 14 points from exchanges so you don't have to do any exchanges you can literally get these done just by doing the parallel xp as well as the moments and then you're gonna be at more than 100 points but it caps on on 100 and then just looking at the full program itself we got a dodgers icon dodgers bats stubs and the first jersey at 12 giants icon and bat and then their jerseys at 24 plus some stubs stubs diamondbacks icon bat jerseys at 40 wrigleyville jerseys at 52 south side at 68 the red sox ones at 80 and then yo these bats are kind of cool man i'm not gonna lie that's kind of a sick bat uh and then the final jersey which they probably think these are the best two uh the final one is going to be the miami, miami marlins i love this I love that they did this. I really wish they did stuff like this more often. I feel like this is just giving people more stuff to grind. And I feel like it's given us cool stuff to grind. There's packs, there's stubs, there's uniforms, there's icons, there's bats. Like, I feel like this is just kind of a cool little program that you can pretty much earn. I don't want to say by naturally playing the game because the moments aren't too natural. But, you know, the moments don't seem like they're going to be that bad. Tally three bases, one run, three hits, you know, hit a homer, stuff like that. It doesn't seem like they're going to be that bad to get done. So I'm really happy with this program. I feel like this is a good first program of the year. But what's really exciting and what I'm really looking forward to is later this week. On April 7th, opening day is back. It's surrounded by like a little green thing and if i had to guess i could be 100 percent wrong maybe if you have any ideas or predictions let me know if i had to guess we're going to be getting an opening day program that has two or three really solid like 90 to to 91 or 92 diamonds maybe maybe like 88 to 90 i don't know but i feel like that should have i would assume a program where we can earn diamond cards and i'm really looking forward to seeing what that actually is come opening day if you guys have any predictions, let me know in the comment section. On April 8th, we have a new event dropping. Build lineups with the same seven teams from the City Connect program. So literally, if you want to get the moments done now and wait to try to get the parallel XP, just go ahead and wait for that event right there starting at noon Pacific on April 8th. And then also dropping on the 8th, we have Headliner Set 3 and then Big Dog Set 2. Which if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong or reassure me maybe down in the comment section. I'm almost positive that the MLB's, MLB Pipeline's number one prospect is Bobby Witt Jr. I could be wrong on that. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy, but I'm almost positive that's who it is. And if so, he should be in the big dog set to pack. So that's what came out today. That's what's coming later this week. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Y'all seem to love these videos last year, so I'm hoping you like them again this year. Like, comment, subscribe, social media is all that good stuff. Maybe let me know which jersey is your favorite. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Peace out.